home that can get disorganized in a hurry is the refrigerator. With everybody putting things in and out of the refrigerator all day, we've got leftovers, we have food from the grocery store. Sometimes I don't even know what's in the back of the refrigerator. So today we are going to clean out the refrigerator and we're going to organize it. So I've got some cleaning tips, some good smelling tips, and some organization tips. So I think we need to get started. And the first place to start is by cleaning it out. So let's take everything out of the refrigerator and get going. I have a few smell deodorizer tips that will help you in a refrigerator. Now, of course, you can use a baking soda. This is a great odor deodorizer. It just soaks up all those yucky smells that are in the fridge. But did you know that oats can do the same thing? All you need to do is just get regular oats and fill up a container and put it in your fridge and it will do the exact same thing. It will soak up all those yucky smells and keep your refrigerator smelling fresh. And these oats and baking soda are natural solutions, so you're not putting any harmful chemicals in a refrigerator by your food. Now I'm gonna put my oats in these plastic leftover containers. We have whipped cream containers and all kinds of other plastic containers, and instead of just throwing them away, I save them so I can use them for things like this. I also can use these containers for soap and water. When the kids are doing chores around the house, they can just grab one of these containers. They can fill it up with soap and water. And then also these are great for leftover food instead of going out and buying some regular Tupperware. All you need to do is get these containers, fill your food up with them, put them in your fridge. Here's those plastic containers I was talking about. I just filled it up with some hot soapy water and now I can clean out my fridge. Sometimes I have really stubborn stains in my refrigerator that just don't wanna come up. Something got spilled at some point in time and it needs to be cleaned up. Well, I have a great concoction that works for me every single time. All I do is I take some baking soda and vinegar and I make a paste. You don't need that much baking soda, maybe like a tablespoon or two, and then you do about equal parts of vinegar and you just make a paste. And once you've got the consistency of like wet sand, once your paste is made, all you need to do is put it over the top of that hard to clean area, leave it for about five to 10 minutes, come back and it will wipe right off. I love using this paste to clean my kitchen. It's an all natural cleaning solution, which I love to use, especially around food items. So this will work in the refrigerator, but I also like to use this paste to clean my cooktop. I do the same thing. I just put that paste over the spills and it will come right off. I personally think that this paste works even better than the cooktop spray. So if you've got a hard to clean stain somewhere in your house, baking soda and vinegar is a great solution. Do you ever get black marks or questionable stains somewhere on the white portion in your fridge? Well, a magic eraser will take that right up. It will turn back the clock and get those white areas in your refrigerator white again. Put the last drawer in, everything is cleaned, all the shelves are spick and span, so now it's time to restock the fridge and organize it. I think a common misconception when trying to organize your refrigerator or really any space in your home is that it's going to cost a lot of money. Well, today I'm gonna to show you that that is not the case. What I did was I went to Burlington Co. Factory and I found some amazing pieces that are going to be perfect in my refrigerator and they hardly cost me any money at all. I also have some pieces from the Dollar Tree that we're gonna use in our organization. These pieces are just as fantastic as what you would pay at high-end stores or what you'd get online. I'm gonna show you each piece I got and how much I spent. I think you'll be amazed. If you're like me, you have multiple containers of eggs in your refrigerator. 
and every egg container is a mystery, so you don't know. One of them could be pretty full, right? And then the next one could have, I don't know, a couple of them in there. That's how the eggs are in our house. It's always a mystery. So what I wanna do is get a container so that I can see exactly how many eggs I have. I got this beautiful egg container at Burlington. It was $5.99, which is a great deal. It has a lid on it. It's a loose side so you can see through it. And all I'm gonna do is add my eggs to this container and then slip it on top of a shelf. It looks crisp, clean, and now I can tell how many eggs I have. My refrigerator has a water and ice dispenser like I'm sure many of yours do. Now, my little red dot on my water dispenser on the filter has been on for quite some time. So I don't know if it's being filtered right now and I think it's important to drink water that is filtered. Now the tap water here in Florida is pretty questionable. <laughs> so I like to drink bottled water, but that can get really expensive. So I decided that we needed a water filter for our refrigerator. Now this water filter is from Water Drop. It showed up quickly at my door and it was packaged nicely. I pulled out all of the various pieces from the box. All I needed to do was put the water spout on first. I just twisted that right on. And then I took this top portion. I put the filter right in the center. <laughs> water I put it on top of my container and then I put the lid on the top you can see this water start to drip through this filter in fact I filled this up before we got started talking so you could see it drip through the filter so it's going slowly and it's making sure that this water is really filtered this has a five stage filtering system and it also lasts five times longer than your average water filter system. This little beauty can filter up to 200 gallons of water, which is amazing. And it's also great for your budget because you don't have to worry about going out and buying water bottles. That can get expensive over time. It tastes amazing. It fits perfectly in my refrigerator. It has this very, slim design and I have this shelf that's kind of awkward. It's really skinny and there's not much that I can put on there. So this water filter is a perfect solution for that area. It's really easy to fill up your cups or your water bottles with this spout. And another thing that I love about this is that I can pull it out of my refrigerator and put it on top of my counter when I have a party. So everybody's got deliciously clean water that they're drinking. It's cold, it's filtered. And all I had to do is pull this out of my fridge, so it's super easy. This water drop water filter is extremely affordable, but to make it even more affordable, I have a coupon code for you for 10% off your purchase until December 26th. So take advantage of that coupon, get 10% off. I will leave a link to their storefront in my description box, as well as the coupon code. So head on over to Water Drop and see all of the amazing water filters that they have for you. One thing that I like to do is I like to keep my bread in my refrigerator if I'm not gonna use it right away, especially a fresh bread that comes from the bakery. It starts to go bad within like two to three days here in Florida, but if I keep it in the refrigerator, it lasts much longer. Another item I found at Burlington Coat Factory is this kitchen drawer organizer. It came in a package of two for only $7.99. I love that these are long. These are gonna be perfect in the bottom portion of my refrigerator. I'm going to be able to put all of my cheese in these drawer organizers. I can just stack them up. They're gonna fit right inside just like this. And then I can also put in my boxed butters. That's gonna be in there, my cream cheese, all these rectangular items fit in this rectangular container. Now, if you can't find an organizer like this, what you could use as an alternative is a fridge soda organizer. You could do the exact same thing. You can put your cheese in this, you can put your cream cheese, your butter. These are perfect solutions to keep all of these things organized and in one spot. 
Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like the condiment section in my refrigerator is always the most difficult to keep organized. We have a whole lot of condiments. I'm sure you do too. Cleaning out your refrigerator is a good chance for you to look through your condiments and see which is expired. Like this just expired a couple months ago. We don't need it anymore. And when you have containers like this, where there's like, you couldn't even squirt anything out. This is a good time to throw things like this away and clean things out. To keep my condiments organized, I got this little turntable. Look how cool that is. This is also from Burlington. It was $5.99, which is a great deal. So now I can add all of my condiments right inside this little turntable. It's going to be awesome because I can put it in my refrigerator. I can turn it around. I can say, ooh, I need the ketchup. Oh, where's the sriracha? And I'm not digging around. All I have to do is just flip it around. This thing is awesome. If you can't find a turntable like this, you could just get a clear plastic bin and put your condiments in there. You could slide it in and out of your refrigerator and it would work just as well. I use these Dollar Tree stacking shelves in almost all of my organization. They are so versatile. I used it last week in my pantry organization as an extra shelf to keep my bread from getting squished, but I love using these shelves in my refrigerator as well. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to put it in my veggie drawer. This will keep those soft items protected. You can either put them on top or underneath. You can put the heavier stuff down below and the more delicate items on top. That way you don't throw your carrots on top of your green onions or your lettuce. Everything can remain intact. This is so nice because it creates an extra shelf in these drawers. Let's do a quick freezer organization tip. We have all kinds of bags of frozen fruits and veggies in our refrigerator and it's nice to be able to keep them organized because those bags can get lost underneath all kinds of frozen goods. To organize my fruit in particular, what I have is this large kitchen organization bin. And again, it was from Burlington. It was only $5.99, which is great. I love the shape of it. It's not too tall. It's going to be perfect in my freezer. So what I'm going to do is take my frozen fruit and I'm just going to put it right inside of this bin. This is a great way to keep everything upright and in place. And now when I'm making my smoothies, I can find the exact fruit I'm looking for. I hope you enjoyed these 20 fridge hacks and I hope you got some inspiration or some ideas to help you clean out your own fridge. If you're looking for more home organization or cleaning hacks, I have an entire playlist for you. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.